Hi everyone, it's Alicia. Happy Friday. I think I'm gonna be able to edit, or film and edit this in one day. So happy Friday or happy Saturday or Sunday, whichever day I'm able to get to edit this. Um, I hope everyone is having a good start to their 2021. Hopefully everything will calm down and I'm just really, really hoping for a great 2021 for everyone. So anyways, uh, today was my mommy morning. The boys were over at my parents' house for a few hours, so I decided to do what I do best, which is go shopping. So I hit up Goodwill, found a few treasures. I went to Michael's because they were having an 80% off their Christmas decor. I could not pass that up. And then I stopped by Home Goods because if you saw in my previous video, I don't know, I think it was my weekend vlog, we are in the middle of remodeling our guest bedroom and turning it into the kids' playroom. So painting has been completed, so now it's time to decorate. So I got some things actually also from Amazon, and I think I said Home Goods, so I went by Home Goods, and I also got some things online from Amazon that I'll show you. And then I will do a separate on what we are doing with the playroom and I'll show you the before and after kind of like my uh, bedroom remodel kind of thing just will be like a quick little video so keep an eye out for that I'm hoping to get a lot of work done on it this weekend so that'll probably be coming out pretty soon but anyways I wanted to show you my haul from Goodwill Michaels and Home Goods. okay so let's start with Goodwill so I don't really usually look at uh, DVDs that much because we have Netflix, Hulu, um, Disney Plus, I think Apple, what's the one that Amazon does? Uh, we have all of them, Amazon Prime streaming. So I usually don't really buy movies because we can just go on one of those. But sometimes you're just in a mood to see your favorite, favorite movie and they're not available. So. I thought I couldn't pass up some of these DVDs. They were only $3.99. I got some pretty good ones. Um, Ian, my husband, he really likes Men in Black and I like it too. So this is Men in Black 2. Uh, this is hilarious. Norbert, I could not pass this up. I love Eddie Murphy. I love Norbert. This is such a cute movie. I thought I had a Kill, found Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, but for some reason in the bag there's only Volume 2. I'm not sure what happened there. It must have got left in the cart. But I love the Kill Bill series. It's such girl power, like girl empowerment, badass. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen these movies. It's a Quentin Tarantino. Um, he makes awesome movies. So I got Kill Bill Volume 2. I don't know where my Volume 1 is, but this is one of those movies that I can watch over and over and over again. It's just like, oh, girl power. I just love it. So Kill Bill. This movie is uh, kind of sad. Uh, but it's it's a good acting, it's a good movie. Um, Unfaithful, I don't know if you've seen it, but um, it's kind of a, it's a sad ending, but it's one of those ones, I wouldn't watch it with the boys. And then it's another movie for my husband, Step Brothers. I don't know why we don't own this already, but he could watch this over and over again as well, so I got this for him. And then, this movie is so cute to me. I love Taya Leone. Um, and Adam Sandler is really good in this as well. Uh, Spanglish, I don't know if you've seen this. It's kind of cute. This is a family, kind of a family movie, so um, got that. And then, of course, I always have to hit up the kids' books. I get all of my kids' books from Goodwill. I rarely buy them new, unless it's like um, 100 first words or something like that, I'll, I'll buy that. But um, these were all 99 cents hardcover uh, I don't really let the boys play with these ones because the pages they can tear them out so I do read read it to them um, I love Dr. Seuss so I got put me in the zoo never ever read this one before and then ABC's so the boys are loving the ABC's I got a bunch of ABC stuff so I thought this would be a cute way to practice our ABC's and then I got the tortoise and the hare. I always loved this story as a kid, um, how the tortoise outwits the hare. So I thought I could read this to them. I just found this cute little backpack. I put a backpack on, a full-size backpack on Elijah the other day and it was so hilarious and he loved it. He loved carrying it around. It's a backpack that I have 
some you know construction paper and crayons and um, markers and things like that just to kind of keep it all together and he did not want me to take it off he was so upset so I thought I could give this this is kind of like a little play backpack for him and this was a dollar there was no tag I think she just charged me like a dollar fifty for it so that was nice and then I found this shirt it just I don't ever really have good luck with clothes at Goodwill personally. I always just find that everything's like faded and there's just so much to dig through and um, I'm just never really ever happy with the clothes. But I did find, I did look in the, the top section and I did find this shirt for 99 cents. It says, always dream big. You know, I wish I could find two because I have twins, two of the same thing, but it's just like a, just an everyday shirt and go to the park or whatever. It's only 99 cents, it's from Granimals. I don't know how much that cost new, but I thought this one looked pretty new. I don't think it was worn too much. So add this to their collection of shirts. And then I got this photo album, which was actually fully wrapped. It was brand new or never used, I should say, but I did open it because I did want to see what the pages looked like on the inside. So it's one of those kind that you just stick the photo to it and then, you know, you put the little cellophane over it. And that way you don't have to worry about uh, what direction the pictures are going in. Um, so this one was only $3.50 and photo albums are expensive. They're, this one probably even though it is a little vintage, I think this this was old. This was probably sitting in someone's storage for a long time. But um, they can be upwards from $25, $30, $40. And I don't know, I think you're probably like me. Most of your pictures are in Cyberland. You know, I have pictures on my camera. I have pictures, a uh, lot, tons on my cell phone. And I want to print them. I need to print them. I have not even printed um, any of my pregnancy photos, any of my birth photos. So that's one of the projects that I'm going to start pretty soon is going, either sending it to Shutterfly or going to a CVS and using one of their little photo booths and starting to print pictures. So I started with this. This is a hundred, it has 50 sheets. So I can put a lot, I could put, you know, the boy's first year of life in here. So I think that's my start. Maybe I'll do like pregnancy photos, hospital photos, and then their first year of life. So this will be the first year of the boy's life of pictures. I also got, I needed this when I was making cookies, Christmas cookies, but I just improvise. But it's a sifter. So this one, which actually, they kind of, it's brand new, and I think this is why Goodwill kind of got away with it. Like, it looks like it has never even been used, like, ever. It's super clean. So, it's normally $1.99, or would if it was retail brand new, but they charged $1.49, so I got, like, 50 cents off than if I would buy it. But it was I was really happy to find it, because now for next year, um, if any of my recipes, because I'm going to be baking a lot, um, call for me to sift my flour. I got this now. And then the last thing I got from Goodwill, which I'm always kind of keeping an eye out for these kind of insulated bags for travel, is this um, Arizona Blue Arctic Pack. So this one, you can put your drinks on the top. And I just, this needs to get, I need to wash it. But I'm just totally picturing, you know, when we go to the boys, like t-ball games and things like that and want to bring snacks for them. I can put their juices up here, put snacks in here. So I just kind of, kind of try to think of the future. And I don't know how much this retails new, but I know that I got a great deal on it. And um, there was no price as well, and she just charged me, I think, I want to say 250. And so that was really, really nice. So got that, excited about that. Okay, let's move on to Michael's. So this is some clearance helps. Now, I did hit up Michael's last weekend and they were having a 75% off which was amazing. Um, I got a ton of greenery, I got some wreaths, but I got an email from Michaels today that they were having an 80% off their clearance so I knew I had to stop by there. I got a few things and my husband had gotten me, uh, one of my Christmas gifts, $100, actually I should say my twins, got me um, a $100 gift card for Michaels for the specific reason because that's what I do is I hit up the after Christmas sales and that's how I get all of my uh, Christmas decor. So, I mean, you just, you can't beat the prices. Okay, starting with these uh, twin bells with the wreath, bell hangers. 
Um, I ended up getting four of these because I'm going to next year, I'm going to get a command hook and I'm going to hang them on my kitchen cabinets. I was originally going to do wreaths, but I think this might be cute and it might work. So these were originally $14.99 and with 80% off, I got these for $3 each. <laughs> you can't beat that. I just got some stickers for the boys. They've been really, really into stickers. And then I got this little red house, which I know I can find a nice home for this. But this was originally $19.99 and after 80% off, $4. I found this cute tree. This one was originally $9.99 and I got it for $2. So it's almost like, you know, maybe like a dollar less than if I were to get it at the Target dollar spot. But these are great on your end tables, or you can put them up on your mantle. So I thought this was really cute. It's kind of flock too, and I don't think I have a flock tree. So that's it for Michael's. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Amazon first just because I can still sit for this. So the first thing is I got this a two pack of Jumbo Toy Hammocks. This is what I'm gonna put on uh, two corners of the playroom, and this is how I'm gonna be able to store their um, stuffed animals. The kids are getting into stuffed animals now. Um, specifically, Jacob, he loves this little stuffed moose um, that his Auntie Katie got him. And he just, that helps put him to sleep. But I did have some other stuffed animals that people have gotten them before, so I'm starting to kind of bring them out. And I thought this would be a great way to kind of keep them up and out of the way when they're not playing with them. I also, I love my wall decals, so I got these like I said, the boys are really into ABCs. This is good practice. Um, I got these ABC wall decals, and they're kind of small, but I have an idea of where I'm gonna put it. This is by Deco Wall. And then I got one other one. I love my tree decals. So we did end up buying, here, this is what it looks like here. We did end up buying another one of those um, play pins that I have in our family room. They just, it works so well. You could just, throw so many things into that. So I bought another one of those and um, we'll put this mural above it. And we have a mural in our front room that has a tree and everything like that. So they go to the boys room and do kind of very like a lot of animals because they love animals. So, um, and they, they won't really outgrow it for a while. Then I got some art, wall art also on Amazon. Cute little animals blowing bubbles or blowing uh, bubble gum. So cute. And then there's a giraffe. <laughs> An elephant. Okay, I had to stand for this because there's kind of more bigger items. You can see how empty my house is. I took down all the Christmas decor, so I just got to put up um, my regular decor. I just haven't gotten to it yet, hopefully tomorrow. But the first thing I got at Home Goods was this wire wrap storage rack with baskets. So this is one you can put on the floor, but what I'm planning on doing is actually hanging it up on the wall. So it's something I can put, way I can kind of keep the toys away from the kids, certain ones I don't want them to play with, or just kind of get them out of the way. Also staying in the animal theme type thing, I got this shark picture. I thought this was so cute, and I love the navy and the gray in it. Um, and this was $24.99. When I saw this, I, I could not pass it up. I know that it, I would say it's more nursery style, but it's so cute. Look at these little characters. These are uh, three canvases with a little um, lion, lion cub, little elephant, and a little baby giraffe. And this was $24.99. So I think I got enough stuff for the room. And I mean, I always could get more things later, but I think I'll, I'll be happy um, with the things that I got. And I can't wait to show you all the end result of their room. And I will see you all real soon. Me and my husband are actually gonna go on a date, which is a day date, tomorrow. We're gonna go to the Hard Rock Casino. I forgot what town it is. It's about 30 minutes away from where we live. And I'm gonna vlog that as well. So that will be the next video. And then the video after that, I will hopefully be completely done with the boys' playroom and I'll get that all recorded and edited and I'll show that to you as well. So those are two videos you can look forward to after this one. Okay. 
thanks again for tuning in happy new year i hope everyone has a great weekend and i will see you real soon